beloved, how are you? How are you today? It is a beautiful day in the city of New York. I'm blessed, I'm grateful, and I am in a good mood. You are listening to Red Sable, and welcome to Feed Your Mind, Fuel Your Soul Radio Show. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. I hope that your day is going well, that it has met you wherever you needed it to meet you at. And I hope that whatever hiccups, whatever bumps in the road that came along the way, that you was able to take them all in stride and move on and move forward, that you got up when you fell. You just did not give up because if we give up, we won't get the prize. We won't get to the finish line. We won't reap the rewards if we give up. So I hope you are in a fighting spirit today. It is so refueling Sunday on my station. But today, before we get to that part, I'm going to give you a little bit of updates, some information, some things I'm excited to share. And let's begin, okay? You can reach me at several different numbers. Well, I shouldn't say several. <laughs> but I, a couple of new numbers have been added to the ways that you can contact me. You can text or call those numbers. You can also still email me as well. All right. But I wanted you to know that, ta-da, my show is now on Audible. So for all of you who love to read and don't want to read, but like to listen, podcasts are amazing on Audible. So you can feed your mind, fuel your soul until your heart is content (laughs) through the Audible app. Okay, the link will be in the bio and you'll be able to go right over to it and start listening. All right. I also wanted to share with you that yes, I am still on iHeartRadio. Yes, I am still on Stereo. And Stereo has been amazing. I have a interview show that I do over there called Visionary Views. Thank you to all of you who have listened, stopped by, applauded, asked any questions. <laughs> and those of you who have just giving me your time for an interview on my show I appreciate all of my guests and we have some amazing guests that came on to the show so I will be sharing that with you all today as well okay so it's going to be some episodes that's going to make you think make you wonder make you laugh inspire you, maybe make you cry a little bit, but there'll be tears of revelation, okay? And things that will just give you something to think about and enlighten you a little bit, okay? So I appreciate you. If you want to be a guest on the show, you can definitely do that. I welcome you. I have set up visionary views to be a source for people who have gone through some things because we all have but I want to know how you became the visionary how you took your vision and turned it into this person who does all these things that you do today sometimes we forget and sometimes we just don't know but there is pain that is very hurtful, right? But that pain turns into power and that power can move forward and pivot into passion. And that passion becomes what was supposed to be your purpose from the beginning if you were not interrupted with that person who put their hands on you, right? But there's also tests and those tests turn into testimonies. And those trials turn into triumphs and treasures and they become gems. And I believe, as I have said many times, if you don't know, I'm going to tell you right now, 
Broken gems are still valuable. Gems found in the mud and the dirt are still valuable. If you have been crushed, you are still a gem. It doesn't mean that you are less valuable than the one of the gems that have not been crushed. It doesn't matter. You still have your own value. You have your own little crevices of bumps and bruises because you were meant to be a standout gem. You wasn't meant to be like all the others, all so-called flawed, flawless. You're not supposed to be flawless. You're supposed to be imperfectly perfect. You're supposed to be flawlessly flawed. So that is what my show was about with Visionary Views. That particular segment from Feed Your Mind, Fuel Your Soul was created for you to share your journey that took you out of the pit and pushed you into your purpose. Okay? So, like I said, I've already shared some on here on this beautiful platform. And I hope that you was able to listen to them and I'll be adding some new ones and listen to them as well. And now you can do that on Audible, right? <laughs> so as I was beginning to say, you can contact me if you want to be part of the show and you want to do an interview. All right. You can call me at 917-383-3789. Three seven six zero. That's nine one seven three eight three thirty seven sixty. Okay, and that is for the interviews. Text or leave a voice message. Let me know who you are, what you do, and why you want to share your your journey with the world, and we will connect and we will make it happen. Okay. We, I like to make sure that it's a good fit because sometimes you just don't, I'm really, um, how can I say this? I am a proponent of energy and I like to be sure that I'm going to be in the same space with a person who has good energy. And by good energy, I mean that you are in a positive mind frame. And when you come and you share your story, that you are not coming in there with the weighted burden of some kind of bitterness or some kind of pain that has nothing to do with the audience and it has nothing to do with me. It's things that you haven't worked out yet. And that's cool. We can talk off the show about that. But I don't... um, want you to come on the show until you are centered in your spirit and then you can share your journey okay that is how I move forward and if that is cool with you then definitely call that number okay now the second number this number is for comments questions any Thing you want to add to a topic that you may have heard, or if you have topic ideas that you want to add and you want me to speak about, absolutely leave a message and I will get back to you on that as well. That phone number is 646 628 8613. 646 628 86 13. Okay. Again, that's comments, questions, topic ideas. Or if you just want to simply call to say that you love the show. Okay. And if you don't, that's okay. I'm sensitive about my stuff. So you don't need to tell me you don't like it. It is fine. You can keep that to yourself. All right. Hard love vibes always 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 all right no negativity it's not necessary all right so thank you i appreciate you you can also of course email me at talk to red sable at gmail.com that's t-a-l-k the number two r-e-d-s-a-b-l-e at gmail.com and that is for you to send me a bio your songs you want me to listen to 
I do want to do interviews to continue, I should say, to do interviews with artists, but it has to be non-explicit, okay? And um, yeah, let's mix it up. Let's do what we do as creators. Let's do what we were created to do by the one and only omnificent creator (laughs) and share our creatives with the world, our creations with the world, okay? And I open my platform for you to do that with me and my audience, okay? And this is done on stereo, just so that you know, we can do it on stereo, um, I'm working out some things so that we can also do it on Clubhouse. Not really sure about that. But for right now, Visionary Views interviews is on stereo. Okay. And it will be uploaded and filtered out to all of the platforms that I'm on that we may share. All right. Thank you again. I appreciate you very, very much. And so, as I said, it is Soul Refueling Sunday, and I just wanted to give you some some just some positive thoughts that I received from the pastor as he as he spoke today. And it will not be a long one because the next segment is going to be an interview and that one is going to be long. Okay, so the next voice you will hear will be mine and we will go into Soul Refueling Sunday and how we were created to sway. Thank you.